Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here on the Celebrity Solstice and I can't wait to show you around. Hopefully you're a subscriber so you've seen my other cruise ship and all-inclusive tours and reviews. In this video, I'm going to take you on a full ship tour including our cabin here on deck number 10. Let's go! We'll start the tour of the Celebrity Solstice on deck 15, heading towards the rear or aft of the ship. This is the area known as the Lawn Club. Yes, the Celebrity Solstice has actual grass on board. At least they try to keep it alive. You can see a couple rough patches there. And one very special thing they have here on the Celebrity Solstice is the hot glass studio. Now, when the ships in this class all came out originally, they all had the glass studio. But over the years, as the different ships have gone into dry dock, this area has been replaced with a restaurant. Since the Celebrity Solstice was in Asia and Australia for most of its life, it hasn't been on the same dry dock schedule, so we still have the hot glass studio. Now, this is artists in residence, so glass artists come on board, they teach classes, they offer demonstrations. You can take a one on one class where you make your own specialized glass sculpture or vase or plate or whatever you want to make. So it's a lot of fun and really unique and special to the solstice. These are called the alcoves. So these are special extra charge. You rent them for the day. There's different prices depending if you run it on a port day or a sea day. And they give you special food menu. You can order off the dining room menu for dinner out here under the stars. You also saw that large TV screen. They show movies here. And they also use that area for some Zumba classes if the weather is nice. Now on our sailing, we had pretty chilly weather. So a lot of our movies took place indoors in the Celebrity Central Theater, which I'll show you a little bit later. On both sides, we have more lawn access. Now this lawn was under recovery. So you can see it's kind of taped off there. They're trying to fix some of those brown spots or spots where the lawn was starting to fade away. Now we're heading all the way to the back of the ship to check out the Sunset Bar. So this is a, a very favorite bar for a lot of folks on all of the celebrity ships. Now my personal favorite is on the Summit on the Millennium class ships, but this one's pretty nice too. That's a view of the Port of Los Angeles. Normally you would have the beautiful wake of the ship as you're sailing off into the sunset. You have the bar and lots of seating. It's a very comfortable area where you can play cards or even bring up your food from the buffet, which is coming next, so stay tuned. Now, when I saw that circular table, I got so excited thinking it was a fire pit, but then the fire and ships are not great companions. So it's a, just a round table that has like a little light show in the middle. This lawn side was set up for putting as well as bocce ball since it was in much better shape than the other side of the ship. Heading down to deck 14. This is the deck right above the main pool. They, you see they have the walking track that goes all the way around the chaise loungers and we'll head inside to visit the Ocean View Cafe. The Ocean View Cafe is the buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm on the starboard side or the right side as you're facing the front of the ship. On this side, on the port side or the other side, you would find a bar. So a bar with specialty coffees. On this side, it's the ice cream. So you have hand scooped ice cream as well as soft serve ice cream with the different sauces and toppings. Here you see them making the pizzas. Now this was the lunch buffet on embarkation. So it has a lot of different items. This was very similar to the lunch buffet we had on all of the days. So you have your pizza section, your pasta section. The pasta is made to order. You can pick your toppings and your sauce. They also have like a casserole pasta. The pizza and the pasta is going to be open the longest hours. And then the, the lunch is going to have the most different displays of food. So here you're seeing the fried chicken. You have this wonderful dessert buffet. They do scale back at dinner. So dinner is probably about a fourth of this that's available. You can still put together a nice dinner here at the buffet. It's just not all of the options you're seeing here that are available at lunch. You can make your own sandwich to order. You can pick your your bread, all of your different toppings, mustards, meats, and cheeses. 
then this is just your bread on the side and your charcuterie platter. Look, I think they did such like a pretty job here. And they actually cut your cheeses to order now, which I think is interesting. Right across from the meats and cheeses, you'll find the vegan entrees and the Indian. Across from that is the Asian make your own stir fry. And there's also a Mexican station. Heading towards the back of the ship, you'll find a lot more seating. So if you're having trouble finding a spot, just keep walking towards the back. Out here, there's outdoor seating as well well at the Ocean View Bar. You have these nice little couches. This was kind of where we hung out on the sailing. It was a little bit sheltered on those chillier days, but you still have that great view of the wake and you have the Ocean View Bar right there in case you want a cocktail or a beverage. Celebrity does have beverage packages. You can book them as a promotion and get it all included, or you can purchase them once on board. Just depends how you want to do it or what promotions are available at the time you're booking. They have a classic and a premium package. We are back at midship heading out the door that we first came in to check out the Ocean View Cafe back to those same chaise loungers. Off in the distance there you can see the Discovery Princess that was also embarking in Los Angeles on the same day we were. We embarked at the World Cruise Center in San Pedro. Here is the main pool deck with the four whirlpools and the two pool areas. We are on deck 14. The pool deck is deck 12. There is no deck 13. This enclosed area is the solarium, which I'll show you here in a minute. Heading around the corner on the walking track, you'll notice this walking track is tough. The chaise loungers come right up to the edge, but I do love that they have the awnings overhead so you can get some shade on the upper pool deck. A lot of ships don't have that. If you're on the upper part of the pool deck, it's just straight sun. Here's the mass grill offering hot dogs, hamburgers, turkey burgers. The mass bar is on the other side of the ship. This is a smoking area, so it was full of smokers during our sailing. So it's great they have an outdoor place and a bar they can hang out at. We just would grab a drink and head back to the mast grill area. Now we're heading towards the front of the ship. You can see there's more of those shaded chaise loungers here. And we're gonna head up this big staircase, basically all the way up to deck 16. Here we'll find a little sign for the solstice deck and this very odd line of chaise loungers. I think this is so weird that people would just kind of sit like they're boarding a train. Now remember the Celebrity Solstice has not had the revolutionized updates. So my guess is when they get these, this is going to be a retreat area. The retreat area on Celebrity Ships is the area exclusive for sweet guests. Now it could have been this on the solstice sailing and we just didn't see the signs or there wasn't a person telling us that. The sailing was only a about half full. Here's looking over the basketball court. So it is will be kind of weird to have the exclusive suite area right next to the basketball court and right above where all the kids programming are. So here's another look of those weird chairs all in a row. We're walking towards the front of the ship now. We're on deck 15, so one deck down from where that solstice deck was. And here's how you would enter in to the basketball court. Now these can be some hidden gem seats. I don't think a lot of people boarding the celebrity solstice are going to know that these chaise loungers are here right next to the basketball court. So as long as you don't mind the bouncing balls and potentially a lot of children, these could be good spots. Now here's what it looks like. I didn't get any of the kids club inside, but that's kind of how it's all laid out. All right, now we are headed to deck 14. This is where the Sky Conference Room is located, as well as the Sky Observational Lounge. The Sky Observational Lounge is used for all different kinds of activities, and it's actually one of my favorite spaces on a celebrity cruise ship. I think these lounges are absolutely beautiful and I they I think they use them really well. So throughout the day there was arts and crafts here, puzzles, trivia. Then as you move into the evening, that's when this dance floor is going to come into play, the DJ booth. They had bands play up here. They had fun little games with the officers up here. Several of the Captain's Club events for Loyal Cruisers took place here. This area right in front of the ship looking out is very popular, so get here early. Now let's head down to deck 12 and take a look at the spa here all the way in the forward area. They have a beautiful manicure and pedicure area and the locker rooms are really well done. The one thing I did want to point out here in the locker room is there is a sauna, so that's a nice perk even if you don't have the thermal suite. Heading out from this spa, we're going to enter into the solarium. This is included. You don't need an extra charge for this. It's 
adults only for most of the time. And it has this great spa cafe with little plates you can take away with tuna salad, salmon salad. I really like all the different breads they have available, whole fruit. You can also order smoothies here. Those are included in the premium package or an extra charge if you have the classic package. They have the upgraded loungers because this is supposed to be a nicer area because it's just for adults. The heated pool, this was very popular on our sailing because it was a bit chilly. And then two showers on either side and two whirlpools right up to the edge, uh, one on each side. Heading out towards the main pool area, this is a nice little lounge spot. That little pillow thing was very comfortable, but very hard to get into and out of. So uh, caution, <laughs> be careful, don't hurt yourself. Lots of shaded undercover chaise loungers looking out to the sides. And then you, of course, you have your sun seats all right here around the pool. Now I will say if you do want to have the best shot at sun, you're going to want to be up on deck 14 since a lot of the seats down here are shaded. These little navy blue beds are first come first serve. They are a little awkward because they're kind of reclined at an odd level, but they were, again, those were very popular. And you have your bar and I love how they have this like bar stool area that faces the pool, which is a lot of fun for the activities, namely the pool volleyball. So this is one of the officers. The officers make up their own team and then they take on the guests. It's so much fun. Once you see it in the program, definitely don't miss it. Now heading towards the back of the ship, we see that stairwell up to the Ocean View Cafe. And we're gonna head inside and head down to deck 10. So here you can get a glimpse of what the library looks like on deck 10 from above and entering it here. This is such a cool, cozy spot. They have so many books here that you can exchange and check out. There were always people in here reading and just enjoying the quiet. The chairs are super comfortable. I love that they have this area. I think it's something very unique to celebrity to have these open air areas. Now let's head to my cafe. So 1176, this is a concierge veranda or balcony cabin. I love the two hooks next to the door. You have this small little desk area with a small drawer. In terms of plugs, you have two North American plugs and one European plug. So you will need an extension cord if you have a CPAP machine. The television and the little storage area here that definitely fit a laptop if you're bringing a laptop and then the mini fridge anything in the mini fridge is an extra charge and there's a little sheet that'll tell you about that there's the couch area with the closets right behind this I don't love this design um, just because the closet is so close to the couch and then here's the bed on either side of the bed you have a small open little bookshelf no plugs so again bring that extension cord CPAP users and you have your own light fixture on either side that you can control out to the balcony. This was great. This is a great size balcony. It comes with a footrest because you're concierge. So we had plenty of space. It was easy to get out there and walk around. Great view, overhang. The bathroom is very nice. I think they do a great job with storage. You have the little bookshelf as well as a couple drawers and the counter space. The shower head was very nice and a decent size. You know, these are just a regular balcony cabin. Heading down to deck nine, we'll find the card room. Now, this was hopping late at night. When we would go to head back to bed, there was always this group of eight to 10 people playing cards or some kind of game uh, here in the card rooms. So this is fun if you're sailing with an extended group group, this might be a good spot to meet up to play cards. Heading down one more deck, we, this is a unique area. It has this tree of life theme, but this is really where the concierge desks are. So for the concierge cabin, like we booked, for the captain's club, you're going to find the concierge um, seated here. You can also call them if you have anything that you have questions about. And then there's a number of displays just about the earth and conservation. Down one more deck to deck 16 is deck six, excuse me, is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. They house classes here if you have any questions about how to access the Wi Fi. A lot of the packages do include regular Wi Fi, or you can upgrade to premium once on board. Heading down to deck five. We are going to head towards the aft or the back of the ship to check out the specialty restaurants. But first, there is this very unique area right here, and I really encourage you to like stand in here and listen to the sounds. It's a, it's a very unique area, and each ship in this class has the same area like that. Uh, we were just on another ship, so you can, you can take the different themes. 
This is the Ensemble Lounge. This is a great pre-dinner spot, so this gets very busy in the hours right before dinner. It's right outside of Murano, which is one of the specialty restaurants. This is an extra charge, and this is the Steakhouse, so it has that elegant steakhouse vibe. I mean, I just think it's so beautiful inside and really reminds me of a New York restaurant. In the Ensemble Lounge, they'll also have live music, so we heard the violinist, the piano player, guitar player, the band played here one night. Continuing to head back, we're going to find three of the specialty restaurants here, as well as some really beautiful art. Celebrity takes special attention to the art throughout their ship, so if you're an art level lover, you'll definitely want to walk around and kind of take a look at that. Silk Harvest used to be an Asian restaurant, and now it's currently being used for Le Petit Chef. Le Petit Chef is an extra charge specialty dining experience where they project basically a cartoon onto your plate that leads you through the meal. The Crossway will find Blue. This is the included restaurant if you book an aqua class cabin. So you'll be able to have breakfast and dinner here, lunch on sea days. And then Tuscan Grill, which is the Italian specialty restaurant. This also is an extra charge. And they had a special wine brunch during our sailing. Michael's Club is exclusively for sweet guests. When Solstice is revitalized, this will definitely change to have the retreat language for sure. Now that was just inside the Ensemble Lounge. As we head out of the Ensemble Lounge, we'll be able to head outside. Deck five is going to be your outdoor walk around deck. Also, it's where you have the lifeboats. So if you want to get a closer look at a lifeboat, you can head out there. This is a closer look at Cabo. So we're tendering into Cabo from from right there. This is the cafe. So this has your specialty coffees, your specialty teas. Those are included in your classic and premium beverage packages. It's much easier just to sit and order if there's a long line. They also have included pastries. So if you're looking for a little sweet treat with your morning coffee or before the end of the night, you want to stop here. Across the way, we're going to find sushi on five. So as you guessed it, this is the Asian specialty restaurant. It is sushi heavy. It is an extra charge and you pay by the item. So it's not just a one surcharge. You pick what you want and then pay by the item. I highly recommend the lobster and shrimp wontons. They're so delicious. The ramen bowls are also very, very good. Now continuing to head towards the front of the ship. We're going to enter this very pretty little area area here where a lot of the higher end shopping is. So if you're looking for your jewelry and your art, it's going to be in this area of the ship. And then this is the world-class bar. So the cocktails at the world-class bar are mostly included in the premium package. They do have, you know, a couple things that are in the classic package, but this is where you're going to want to be. And it has the fancy bartenders. Look, he's holding that a bottle on his hand. Um, and they have all kinds of specialty cocktails and they have a great mixology class. So if you're interested in mixology and want to lose, learn more, ask them about it and be sure to sign up. We really enjoyed it. We've done it on a couple ships now. It's been a little different each time and we really liked it. So now heading towards the front of the ship, we're seeing more of the art that's coming around. This is where your high-end jewelry stores are going to be. Just a reminder that these stores are not going to be open while you're in port. So the stores can only be open when the ship is out to sea. That's the same for the casino. So if you have it in your mind, you're going to stay back on the ship one port day and go shopping. That's not quite going to work, but definitely always check out the art gallery. They change out the displays from time to time, and you can really learn a lot about art if you attend any of their seminars. Here is the upper level of the Solstice Theater. The Solstice Theater takes up deck four and five. So here we're down on deck four, looking up to the upper level here on deck five. We really enjoyed the production. So Broken Strings was the story of a breakup at a bar, the cabaret, the cast did an incredible job singing some Broadway favorites. And then of course, it's not a celebrity show without an acrobat. And th those showed up in the rock show. It says Rock City there. I think they called it Rock Revolution. So coming out of the theater on deck four, we're going to find Celebrity Central. So this is what they used as a movie theater during our sailing because it was too cold to be up on the lawn to watch movies. They also had some lectures in there as well. Entertainment Court was where a lot of the evening games would take place. They would do a game in between the 
the first show and the second theater show and it would take place right here. So you just have to be prepared to stand or get there very early to get a seat. In here, this big DJ booth is Quasar, the nightclub. They used it for a couple of the trivias and then they did turn it into a nightclub at night with the DJ playing all the different hits. Usually people kind of drifted in from the grand foyer. Now coming around, we're going to find more shops. Now these, this is a little bit more of your souvenir shopping, your typical duty-free with cosmetics and alcohol. You'll also have the photo studio. It's all digitized now. There are photographers throughout the ship willing to take your pictures in different settings. They also will set up an appointment if you want more of a structured photo shoot. Here in the casino, you can tell some of the games are a little bit older. Again, this is because it had been in Asia and Australia. It has a little bit smaller TVs, but great casino bar. And the casino host on the sailing was excellent. He was so much fun and just did a terrific job. They even held like slot turn free slot tournaments throughout the sailing. I think part of it is because we were only half full. Now heading into the middle of deck four, we're going to find the famous Martina martini bar. This is a favorite on every celebrity ship. It has the bartenders that flip the bottles around. Now most of the martinis will be on the premium package. They can make you like a Cosmo that would be in the classic package, but just be aware some of the martinis are going to be a little bit more expensive if you're trying to choose between getting the classic package or the premium package. And it is just as a beautiful lounge area. Then just behind that, we're going to find the main restaurant. So this is the included restaurant for most of the folks on board. It offers breakfast and dinner daily and lunch on sea days. We are on deck four now. So this was where the anytime dining was. So when you sign up for the cruise, you'll have a choice between anytime or set dining. And what that means is you can either pick to eat at the exact same table every night at the exact same time and have the same wait team, or you can select any time where you can just show up and take the next available table. Now we really liked our waiter. So when we would come each evening around the same time, we would ask to be seated with him again. And if it was available, then they were more than happy to do it. Coming around to the other side of the ship. So we're across from Martini Bar now is Cellar Masters. This is the wine bar on board. It has the most extensive wine list of any of the bars. So definitely check this out if you're a wine lover. They also offer a large number of extra charge wine events. Heading down to deck three, we'll find Lumine. That is the retreat or the sweet level dining room. It's right next to the shore excursion desk. You can book the shore excursions here or through the app. And then coming around, we'll find the passport bar or basically the lobby bar. So this is kind of where people hang out in the evening because there's usually live music here. They had a lot of parties down here in the evening. They would have a theme. The cast members would come in and dance. And then it's right next to guest services where you would go if you have any questions. So that is the Celebrity Solstice. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on to get my full review of our seven night cruise.